Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be going through how you draw a little uh, fan or turbine blade in Shaper 3D. Uh, so just to get started, I'm going to take a view on the top plane. I'm going to go to Sketch and I'm going to draw two arcs inside the origin. So I'll just zoom in so we can see that a little bit better. So I want my origin points there. I want to be inside the origin. So I'm just going to do two uh arcs i'm going to do it 45 degrees i'll just type it in to make it easier click it 45 tick make it put it put it on the origin point if it will let me and then lock that one i lock that one zoom in a little better so you can see it on the video so 45 degrees i'm going to do a radius of 50 make it a lot bigger to be fair it should jump out which it has done so zoom out so now on the x-axis i've got an arc that's 45 degrees radius 50 i'm going to go to offset edge and i'm going to offset it two and a half mil and then go to line and just finish and close up the profile so i'm going to put two lines each side so now i've got two kit two arcs and two straight lines on the inside above the x-axis so i'm going to exit this sketch and then if i pan around using my view cube i'm going to extrude this so i'll go to add sorry tools not add um, and then i'm going to pull it up and i'm going to put, extrude it uh, 50 mil and now i'm going to click now i've got this curved surface and this is tick done i'm going to click the corners and i'm going to pull out if you pull in it chamfers the edge but we don't want to chamfer i'm going to pull out and i'm going to put um a radius of 10 mil if i can get it oh, 10.2 i'll type it in 10 mil on one side and a radius of 10 mil on the other as well so i've when that came up because i've not selected the edge properly so i'll try again 10 mil. So now I've got a radius of 10 mil on each side. Um, I'm going to come out of this and then I'm going to go to the left plane and go to sketch again. I'm going to draw a circle from the origin point. I'm going to make this circle 25 mil in diameter. Oh, sorry, I've misclicked there. So I'll just click on the circle again 25 mil. So now I've done that, what I'll do is put that in the middle of the the, the arc, lock that, exit sketch, and then I'm going to go up to the view cube again so you can have a good view of it. And I'm going to I'll just zoom out. I'm going to extrude this circle. So just click on the circle, drag it, and what it's doing is it's cutting away, which is fine. We're not worried about that, so I'll just keep dragging it out to 50 mil. And then you've got this little icon here asking what you want to do. So what I want to do is I want to, a new body. So now I've got a new body. Um, I'm going to, so I've got two separate bodies. One is the, the blade, the fan blade, if you like, or, and then one is the actual body of the fan. And now if I click tools and then go down to, sorry, it's not tools, it's transform and go down to pattern and I'm going to go on circular pattern click the body I want to pattern and this point that I can drag anywhere is where um, is the axis of rotation so I'll just cancel that so just to show you that again so if I go to pattern make sure circulars um, is the type selected click that and then I'm going to drag the center point and then so now you can see it's going to pattern around this point so what i'm going to do is put 10 blades on it so the quantity of 10 and you can put a total total angle or spacing on it so if i drag that round it'll put the 10 blades on and if i make it all the way to 360 it evenly spaces them. there you go 
So if I just tick done on that. So now these fan blades are all their own bodies and then this is also the centre parts, its own separate body as well. So this is, oops, lost it a little bit there, sorry. Right, so then I'll just, just show you. So now I want this all to be one body. So what I'll do is highlight them all. Then go to, go to tools. I highlighted them a bit early. Go to union. Highlight them all. Keep originals off. Tick. So now when I go to circular pattern, I have one body. So just now it's time to do the little finishing touches. So I'll just put a sketch on this plane. 18 mil. Exit sketching. And then we'll drag it. Sometimes this view cube, there we go. So drag it, so I've got a hole in hole in the um, shaft in the middle. So you can see that there's the sketch, it's not actually the body. And then if I click the edge here, and I don't I can either put a chamfer on it or a fillet. And I'll just put a seven mil radius chamfer on that come out of that and there you have it nice little simple tutorial nice and easy on how to draw a little fan blade i'm sure you you can come up with more creative uh, solutions in your designs but this is just a quick tutorial on how to do the basics uh, use two different bodies and pattern those bodies to to get your little fan shape uh, i hope you found this little tutorial helpful if you have uh, please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching